myself Fahel. In today's session, we are seeing the Euro USD consolidating with bullish bias above the 1.215 level. And uh, now, as the US session has begun, it has found some uh, fresh buying momentum and it is uh, inching closer to 1.22. And I am expecting the Euro USD to continue to rally. And in next couple of days, we might see it eventually surpassing the prior high established around 1.225 and uh, moving towards 1.23 so in this session of market movers i will be explaining to you what are the key levels which can help us in uh, finding the optimum trade entry points to make sure that the risk is not too much of course in the market we have to wa keep a watch on the risk because uh, no trade is uh, certain any trade can go in loss and uh, that's why the technical formations come a crucial uh, play a crucial role while uh, deciding to take the trade if we consider the data rocket for the day there were uh, not many releases earlier in the day we had uh, trade balance data for the china and uh, there we are seeing the growth uh, for both the imports and exports but uh, these are year on year numbers and uh, last year the china's uh, exports and imports were much heavily impacted by the coronavirus pandemic but uh, this year the strong growth is there now that the pandemic is uh, more or less in control the economic activity has picked up and as a result of that we have solid growth of more than 27 percent in exports in terms of year on year for the month of May and uh, imports have also risen and uh, this is uh, kind of uh, surprising that the imports have risen a lot more sharply than exports and uh, we have the growth of 51.1 percent for imports for uh, the month of May and uh, that has uh, contributed to the trade surplus coming lower than the anticipated uh, levels and we have for the month of may the trade surplus at uh, us dollar 45.5 billion that's uh, quite uh, high if we compare it to the other countries but for china which is used to seeing such a huge trade surplus this is uh, kind of lower than the expectations moving on to the european trading hours we got these uh, factory output numbers for the month of april for germany and uh, surprisingly we are seeing that the factory orders actually declined there compared to the prior month's growth of 3.9 percent we are seeing a decline of 0.2 percent and i am expecting this to be one of uh, print and uh, in next couple of months we are likely to see the continuation of the growth which we have seen for uh, last couple of months also now moving on to the technical formations i will first consider the usd and then we will also see what's happening in the s p 500 let's start with the euro usd's technical outlook this is the daily time frame chart and here 1.21 provided a strong support for the euro usd and from there on the euro usd has changed course and i think more than the Technicals here the fundamental factor has uh, played a crucial role. We had the uh, non-farm payroll data uh, on Friday and there we had lower than expectations. Uh, the reading was uh, more than 5 lakhs 500,000 but uh, it was uh, lower than the most uh, economist consensus and uh, as a result of that the dollar has weakened, equities have gained and uh, other major currencies have also gained against the US dollar so the euro has also benefited and uh, now if we consider its uh, longer term as well as medium term trajectory the euro has been in a bullish trend for uh, last couple of months and uh, now that we have fresh impetus I am expecting these uh, highs established in uh, this rally to be broken and we might see a fresh breakout which might take the euro usd towards uh, this high around 1.235 so if we have to start looking for the trading opportunity we will have to keep in mind is a central pivot point and i think this is the price area which can be utilized as a critical market 
as long as the price action is unfolding above it, we can be fair bullish while looking for uh, new trades in the euro usd and uh, we can uh, target for uh, eventual move towards these first resistance of this month's pivot point series these are early days of the month and uh, in uh, course of the next couple of weeks we can expect the euro usd to rally and uh, move past the hurdles of prior uh, swing highs and uh, go towards these first resistance so if we want to profit from that kind of run in the euro usd we will of course have to keep looking for the optimum trade entry points and uh, that's why we will have to rely on lower time frame charts here both these technical formations the regression curve as well as pivot point series are uh, quite conducive for the bullish trades and if we want to keep an eye on the lower time frame charting i think uh, on the one hourly chart we can utilize these uh, convergence of 100 and 200 SMAs which are just below 1.22 as a useful uh, marking point we can keep a watch on this uh, price zone and if we have the close in today's session above this 200 SMA then I think uh, that will be a signal that uh, for near term the trend has changed we had the euro USD in bearish momentum till Friday and then this sharp move on uh, the Friday has now changed the course and uh, if we see that today's session also closes with uh, consolidation and uh, some gains I think uh, we will have for more reasons to believe in the Euro USD bullish trajectory and uh, as long as it will be holding above these uh, 100 and 200 SMA convergence zone we can be fairly confident and uh, in due course of time we can even expect the 50 SMA to catch up and uh, we can start looking for fresh entries anywhere closer to these uh, two SMAs and uh, I think if we have the breakout and some upward momentum in uh, today's session itself in uh, tomorrow's session we can utilize this high established in Friday session just below 1.219 as a entry point and uh, we can keep the stop loss just below today's low so the stop loss will work out closer to 21 sorry 1.215 while the entry can be anywhere between uh, the 1.218 to 1.22 that's a pr wide price band but uh, given the volatility which we are used to seeing in uh, euro usd i think uh, we will have to take the risk and uh, whenever we see that the momentum is uh, picking up for a new rally we can think about getting involved for the trade with the target coming in around a prior swing high around 1.225 as i and uh, as i said the stop loss can be kept just little below the today's low so that should be good enough for the stop loss and in uh, this trade the stop loss and uh, target price will uh, provide you the risk reward ratio of uh, fairly close to 1 is to 2 I am uh, not precise I don't think it will be exactly 1 is to 2 but uh, close enough now moving on to the equity segment we will consider the S&P 500's technical formation this is the daily time frame chart and uh, S&P 500 is not really far off from its all time highs in today's session if it uh, holds on the higher side and it continues to trade above one uh, sorry 14200 i think uh, we can expect this week itself the new all time high to be formed and uh, it can rally towards 4300 in uh, coming sessions in today's session i am expecting the uh, s&p 500 to spend the time consolidating and uh, big move on either side is not really expected rather than that it is more likely to consolidate after sharp gains which we have seen in friday's session so if you want to keep looking for the new trades in the s p 500 we can utilize these uh, technical formations of the regression curve as well as pivot point series we have the support in place around 4150 on the lower side but that's not really close so if we want to go for the new entry i think this uh, swing high this uh, prior swing high of this consolidation range 
just little above 4200 will have to be utilized. So in this session, it's important for the S&P 500 to close above this price being high or at least above 4200. And uh, if it uh, continues to consolidate while uh, holding on to this uh, support zone, I think uh, we can get ready to go long in the S&P 500 while keeping a stop loss just uh, below this uh, immediate swing low which is there closer to this uh, central pivot point and uh, given the fact that the regression curve is also inclined on the higher side we can expect the S&P 500 to go on to rally toward this uh, first resistance of this month's pivot point series which is there around 4280 and uh, in doing that it will be forming the new all-time high also so i am betting on the s and 500 bull run to continue while forming the new record highs and uh, we can try to profit from these uh, historical uh, levels being reached so if we want to go for the trade in uh, today's session watch out for this convergence area of uh, these three SMAs, 50, 100 and 200 SMAs are converging closer to 4200 and uh, it will be important for the continuation of bullish trajectory for these levels to be respected and uh, if we don't really have any breakout on the lower side and if in today's session we see the close happening above this uh, support area then we can uh, go for the fresh trade anywhere in the price band of 4200 to 4220 while keeping the stop loss i think uh, we will have to keep the stop loss little below this price being close so the stop loss will work out closer to 4175 and uh, that will entail the risk of around one percentage point and uh, for that kind of risk we can expect profit with the continuation of the bullish trajectory and the target price will have to be kept closer to 4300 to make sure that the risk reward ratio is also good enough and uh, we will have to keep the target price at least uh, 80 points or beyond that to make sure that the risk of around 30 to 40 points which we will have to take in this trade is uh, fairly covered so that's my take uh, looking at the technical formation of the S&P 500. If any of you have any query or any idea to share, you can write to me in the feedback section and I would be more than happy to take the discussion forward. Before I sign off, I would also like to remind of the risk associated with trading in the financial instrument and uh, one should be careful while utilizing the information provided. Have a fabulous day ahead. See you next time. Till then, goodbye.